we were draftees. We didn't ask to go. We went and served and come home and be treated like that. One right. When many U.S. troops came home from Vietnam, they were treated with anything but respect. We got to Fort Lewis, Washington. U.S. Army veteran Lazaro Camarillo saw it firsthand when he came home in 1970. They were throwing eggs, tomatoes through the veteran going out the gate. I saw this particular brother, American soldier, that the egg or tomato here, right here, you know, something this you earn. Two years earlier, a similar scene at LAX for returning Marine Henry Escobedo. And they were throwing stuff at the bus and spitting on it, eggs and all this other stuff. But inside the airport, an encounter he'll never forget. This person comes up and uh, he says, where are you going, son? I get teared up on this, so going home. And uh, I said, but I got to make it in about 15 minutes now. So he turns around and she's got a big old guy standing by his side and he says, you make sure this Marine gets on that plane. If he doesn't, you don't come back. You're fired. First it was Dean Martin. Well, it kind of makes you mad. Juan Sines also came home in 1968. And while he wasn't harassed, he was disappointed seeing the way his brothers in arms were being treated. It takes a while before that anger goes away. The older you get, you start mellowing. Over the years, opinion started to change about Vietnam veterans. The third one. And in 2017, President Trump signed the Vietnam War Veterans Recognition Act, establishing March 29th as National Vietnam Veterans Day. That day chosen as it was the day the last U.S. combat troops left Vietnam. A day to honor those who came home and remember those who didn't. Finally, everybody's they're having the courtesy and the respect, you know, uh, to recognize all of us. For Veterans in Focus, Greg Chandler, Chris Six News.